Right, so we're, we're sort of mapping out you know, what the people at uh, the iPhone did to think about how they're going to give you something that's sleek, connectable, provides connectivity, function, ease. Before they got to this, they, went, they did a whole process, as with most things, and as with the production of milk or honey or any kind of ideal promised land situation. So for milk, we're, and we're going to get to the map in just a minute. So um, we said to produce milk and honey, we need cows, and then there's a maintaining them. Now, how is a cow going to keep going? How are the bees going to keep going? And um, how are we going to get them to market the consumption? So at the end, the output is milk and honey, and the outcome. So here it says tasty sustenance or money for others. What would matter for you? What would be the outcome for you if you were the farmer? What would be the thing you're striving for that you want to provide? It's a personal question, but right. and a business question. But for you, what would what would it be? Put yourself in the boots of the farmer for a second. Food for your family, how to pay for your land and not to eat and maintain your life. Okay, so that's the bigger picture of how to the sustainability issue. Anyone else an outcome that you'd be striving for in this scenario? Well, don't you want both? In the mother, on one hand, you want money, but you also want satisfied customers because that will be your way to get more money. Right, so, so you can't like, really prioritize like, one over the other because they're kind of like one is a means to the other. Well, yeah, I mean, it, I mean, it's somewhat person, you know, the output is going to be the milk and the honey right, in this model, but the outcome could be, depends on what the farm or how the business is structured, right? For REA, it's maintaining the business and supporting the family. Obviously, you need the business to be salient, right? right? And hopefully more than that. I'm not sure where this would fall in terms of the potential outcomes, but I was also just thinking about, like, community of farmers or, like, regional, you know, like, like whatever this one farmer would be producing and how he or she would be producing it would have an impact on, you know, kind of the whole farming community nearby, which is partly social value, but also partly money. You know, like if one farm is very highly productive and profitable, then I would suspect that could have an impact on others nearby. Right, so for one farmer, an outcome, a successful outcome could have to do with interfacing with the community and being, you know, setting up partnerships or some kind of collective. Is that, mm -hmm. is that part of what you're getting at? Is that, I mean, it might figure in for mm -hmm. some, another farmer, it might not be important, but I mean, it, it would, or it might be something that gets tweaked in the model mm -hmm. to be a more or less important part of the outcome as depending on how the returns are. Okay, so here's a model of the logic model. And based, to go back to what Andrea said, inputs, activities, outputs, and then outcomes. So this is what we've been talking about milk and the honey are the outputs. They're the thing that's sort of coming out of the production machine. That's how I like to think of it. Like factory, my factory mind. <laughs> you know, the, the, that's what's being produced. But then there's the other bigger picture of the satisfaction, the bottom line, as we said, and this double bottom line, which um, has to do with just um, 